All right, on the back side, we are changing to adding and subtracting polynomials. And the biggest vocabulary word, and probably the biggest one for the whole chapter, is this whole idea of like terms. I guess the biggest, biggest vocabulary word for the entire chapter is like terms. Remember that like terms have the same variable or bowls to the same exponents or with the same exponents. Exponents. And that too, we said with is a better word. So the ones that we're used to seeing are things like negative 4x and 5x. The ones we're going to see now that we haven't seen, I'll give you two examples of that version. And we could see something like um, well, I guess 4x squared y and 2. But now our variables, they have to have x squared and it has to have y. It has to have the exact same variables in the exact same order. Well, no, the exact same variables with the exact same exponents. Technically, we can change order, but when we write things down, we're always going to put things in alphabetical order, so we don't have to worry about that piece. So these first four problems are pretty easy. I think you can handle one and two on your own. I think I'm going to do three and four with you. Not, I'll just put the answers down because I think you already have them done. Those are like, so negative 2xy. Now let's go to this number three. I have an x squared. I have a negative 5x squared. That's all my x squareds. So we have, oops, and we want to do descending powers of x. So we'll save that one for a second because these are thirds, right? x to the third power, a negative 3x to the third, and a positive 4x to the third. So we'll have a, oops, I don't need that negative anymore. So I have 1x to the third, or just x to the third, right? And I have a negative 3x squared. So when I combine my like terms. How about number 4? This one's tricky, so you have to be really careful. We have an a squared b. That's not an a squared b. That's not an a squared b. This is an a squared b. 2 and negative 10, so negative 8a squared b. And the second one, ab squared. This is an ab squared. And when I combine them, I have 3ab squared. All right, so then we get down to this combining like terms to add the polynomials. And just like when we started these problems, when we have an addition sign in between, we're checking to see if there's anything on the outside of those quantities that need to be distributed. And since there isn't, we're allowed to organize it. 4a minus 5 plus, I'm going to line up my like terms because we're going to start to get lots of stuff that we have to add together. And those are all, that's a positive 3a. So now when I combine my like terms, they're stacked. And this life, life gets nice and easy when we do them this way. Negative 5 and a positive 6 give me a 1. And when I add, that's what I get. Let me show you again with a longer problem. See how big these get? So if I have this problem, I'm going to line up my like terms. First, I'm going to check for any distributive properties. So it's a positive 1 out front and a positive 1 out front. So I have 3p squared minus 2p plus 3. And that's plus 1p squared minus 7p plus 7. So when I combine my like terms, I get 4p squared minus 9p and plus 10. Give number 7 a try. Come back, check your work. So number 7, you lined up your like terms, combined everything, and got your answer. Now the last piece to this is distributing the negative sign. I know some of you make tons of mistakes with this, so let's just practice distributing a negative. I just want you to practice with it. I don't think I need to say much more about it. So pause it, do it, come back and check it. So again, I just asked you to check over your work. Um, you're really looking for those positives and negatives. I think the one that's most often missed is out here, that this plus 8ac. 
probably the one that's most often missed. If you need to pause and correct anything, do so. But I'm going to move forward to these last three problems on our page. Number 12, it's a subtraction problem, right? We have this quantity minus that quantity. So when I look at that, <clears throat> 2x plus 5 minus x minus 6. I can do the same thing. I'm checking for distributions. So 2x plus 5 is going to stay how it is. And I'm going to distribute this negative into the problem. So negative 1 times x will give me negative x. And negative 1 times negative 6 gives me positive 6. Notice that when I multiplied, I put my, excuse me, I stacked my like terms up together. So 2x minus x will give me 1x. 5 plus 6 is an 11. And now I have gotten the expression. Let me do one more with you. So check for distributions. The first one doesn't have anything, so we keep 3x minus 1. The second one needs that negative distributed in. So we have negative 5x and then a positive 7. And when we combine like terms, we get negative 2x plus 6. All right, number 14 is the challenge. I might as well just do this one with you too. So we end up with the first term doesn't have anything to be distributed. x squared minus x plus 5. The second polynomial needs to have a negative distributed. So we have negative 3x squared minus 8x plus 6. When we combine like terms, we get negative 2x squared minus 9x plus 11. We'll be working with this a lot this week. I'll see you in class.